Hey, Dr. Richard Sands here. Welcome to uh, Healthcare Management 310 Healthcare Delivery Systems. I'm super excited that uh, I'll be your instructor for the next uh, eight weeks. And I wanted to take a few minutes to walk you through what uh, our classroom portal. All right, so when you, uh, of course, when you log into your class, this is what you're going to see. Um, your announcements will be right here on top. And as you can see, I've already populated a few announcements in there. And you'll want to check uh, every Monday uh, to see what new announcements I have posted. because I do post uh, regularly uh, with new announcements. All right, so as we scroll down, you can uh, access your syllabus, ask a professor, uh, your community uh, area, study room, live tutoring, and online counseling. Uh, the syllabus, I'd recommend that you check that with every new assignment. Uh, take a look at your syllabus and also for your discussion questions as well. Because uh, with each assignment that is outlined in the, in the course room, you want to look at the syllabus because there's going to be corresponding um, uh, guidelines as well and as you think about it when you look at the syllabus where it shows the points uh, adjacent to each section that's basically my grading rubric so when you get your assignment instructions look at your syllabus because you'll know then also what uh, how I have to grade your paper so uh, please make sure you do that <clears throat> um, in the announcement section I do want to call out uh, a couple of the uh, one of the videos I have posted in here is a, a, a APA sample paper and video. Um, this is super important um, to take a minute to watch the video. It's about uh, well, there's two of them, but it's just about four minutes long, and I go through the important aspects of APA. Um, I used to teach APA a while ago talk about a dry topic but the APA is great the manual has a lot of good stuff in it you know the manual is pretty thick you don't need all that you only need really just a few key elements for the size papers you write in these classes to uh, understand and master to really help you um, with your APA formatting that you can take to any class so please take a minute to look at that and let me know if you have any questions We've also attached an APA sample paper on, you know, some, it's a, it's a fictitious assignment, but it goes through and uh, uh, shows you what some of those key elements are, what they look like. All right, so let's go back to class. Then as you scroll down, of course, um, well, one of the things uh, in contacting me you can click ask a professor here you can also click up in this section here um, this is not a good way to contact me up here because you can see it says number one and there's really nothing there and sometimes that's hard to see so the best way to contact me over and above even this ask professor here because sometimes i don't see that is to text me or email me um, I have the LAPU email on my phone, and of course texting is real time. And if you should want to have a, 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 a phone call or like a video, con a video call, then um, we can set that up. Text me anytime, email me anytime. If we need a phone call or a video call, then we'll set that up. Just make sure that uh, we're both available. All right, so in the community, please um, click the community button and say hello. Uh, say who you are. You know, maybe a little bit about your academic journey, your, your, if you're working, what that looks like, where about you live here on the planet, and, um, you know, well, how many classes you got left. That's always exciting to, uh, to hear that. All right, so let's scroll down a little bit more. Of course, these uh, two on the right you won't have because that's just instructor stuff um, here and here. But let's look at this activity section. Uh, so click on the assignments. And so, um, of course, you're going to get your assignments in each section, you know, each week to week type, you know, click into that week. But here is a nice list, just a linear list of your assignments. And you're going to have three core assignments in this class. 
week two, uh, analyzing the evolution of the U.S. healthcare delivery system. Then week four, closing the gap in healthcare coverage with the Affordable Care Act. And then week seven, uh, cloud computing and AI in healthcare case study. Those are very, uh, very cool assignments, actually. All right, let's go back to course home. Talking about AI. So <clears throat> when you submit your assignments or you submit your um, discussion questions, your initial post and your peer, uh, peer um, responses, all that goes through, you know, turn it in. So it, um, it will scan what you submit and see if it's uh, duplicated on the web someplace like normal. Also, it looks at it for AI. So if you're using or thinking about using chat DPT or some equivalent, then please don't because um, the system's going to flag it and then I'm going to have to reach out to you and it's just not worth it. Just write your own original material uh, and have a good learning experience too as well. Um, we, and uh, along those lines, we're going to talk about late assignments. Um, the late policy is... Um, if you're late a day, that's 10%. Up to three days is 30%. And anything day three on is unacceptable. It's just, uh, it's uh, if you don't get it in within three days, then you just you can't turn it in. Also, there's no extra credit per uh, the university, LAPU. There is no extra credit. So just be mindful of that and get your work done in on time. Work ahead if you can. That's always good. Um, okay. Now, um, you know, my all my education and schooling has been done you know, in the evening. Um, uh, I've always had a family. I've always had a full-time job. Uh, you know, getting my bachelor's and MBA from Pepperdine. I did at night, night classes. Um, when I got my, and that was, in, actually, that was before online stuff. So I had to go to class. Um, I got my master's in Six Sigma from Villanova University and my PhD in management from Walden. All that now, that was done online. So I've had uh, the opportunity to do both and uh, all my teaching for since 2009 or 2007. Um, I've taught online, I've taught in person. So I've, I've been in academia here for a bit. Um, if you're struggling with an assignment, please reach out because uh, I've been on this. I've been on the other side of this video, and I know it can be a lot to juggle sometimes. All right. So as we keep going through here, look at forms. <clears throat> so the forms. This again is a nice way to look at all the the resources and then just what you know what's ahead of you in a linear fashion. And this goes week to week to week, week one, week two, week three, and so on. So like for myself, I always like to kind of look at the whole landscape of what's ahead of me instead of just looking at week one, then week two, then week three. This way you can get a broad view of everything ahead of you and then, you know, know what's ahead of you and not be surprised when you have assignments due and, you know, things of that nature. Okay. And when we talk about, you know, discussion questions, um, uh, so if you go back to the announcements, what I posted in here is I put in a, uh, references and in-text citations, okay? Um, all discussion questions, your initial post, um, you have to support it with uh, references, you know, and it'll tell you, and we'll look in a minute, but one, two or three references, whatever it, the requirement is. And every reference you have to use at least one time as an in-text citation in the body of what you're writing. That's for your initial post. And also your writing assignments have to be supported with, with references, which is a resource. And then you have to use that at once, at least once in the body of what you're writing. In either case, if you don't use or, you know, if you don't support with the required references or use it as an in-text citation, you will get marked down and not uh, afford you the most points possible. So 
that's just, uh, you know, that's, that's easy to, to do and um, easy to forget as well. So don't forget that one. All right, so I'm going to go down to Learning Extras. So for your Learning Extras, you got Tutor.com, uh, Text Aid by Read Speaker, and of course your syllabus. And, um, you know, Tutor.com is a good resource. Although, again, you know, when you think about APA, watch my video, and that's everything you'll need to know forever. Uh, until you get to like you go for a, like a PhD or something then it's, it's you need a lot more but for like I said these um, these size of papers that's all you need okay lastly here looking at uh, these uh, resources um, and it's everything that's in the course portal for your assignment so again go to one spot and you can see everything um, uh, well, those are my instructor notes, but for you, um, you know, um, healing uh, across cultures, uh, it's a, it's a um, go to a website there, Harvard Business Review, healthcare careers, uh, barriers to healthcare, and this is one of my favorite courses because that's the profession I'm in is healthcare. Um, I've been in healthcare since uh, 2000 and one after I got my MBA prior to being in healthcare as a civil engineer. So I went back to school to make a career change and went into healthcare. And I, I love it. I've been in healthcare ever since. Uh, been a director. I'm a director now. I've been a director for quite some time. All right, let's go back to course home. And lastly, I actually helped design and develop this course. So I'm super excited about it. And uh, I know you will be too. Well, that wraps it up for this uh, welcome to class video. Again, Dr. Richard J. Sands. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to me if you get stuck with something. Um, that's what uh, I'm here to help. So you can email me again at LAPU in my L on the LAPU email address. Um, always have to email me from LAPU email addresses and not from your external Gmail or work email and then you can text me um, pretty pretty quick to respond over the weekends depending I got stuff going on and on Sundays of course as we get ready for the work day on Monday might be a little slower but always uh, want to get back to you ASAP all right thank you so much super excited to be your uh, professor for this course looking forward to a great eight weeks all right thank you so much